when I was 62 years old, my boss sat down and said, they called me Lenny. Lenny just said, we're going to get really busy. And I know your art is your passion, but you're not going to have a lot of time to really work on your art. You're getting so busy. And she said, I think you have to decide. Do you really want to do your art or do you want to work with us? And she said, if you decide to work with your art, we'll support you, we'll help you, we'll work something out. And right away, I knew I said, no, I want to do my art. I don't want to work as a salesperson because who I am is an artist. That's me. That's who I am. All your gifts. And I said, I can't bury that anymore. It's just time for it to come out of me to use that. So they let me go. I was on unemployment. Different things happened. God just took care of me. The whole time was amazing. I was really nervous about doing this. And all these different things happened. I got a roommate. There was money coming in. God just really took care of me through all of that. And it was amazing. I was like, oh, my gosh. And I really felt like God kicked me out of there because I'd wanted to leave about 10 years before. I thought about it seriously. But what happens is I think our human nature is that even when things are difficult and things are hard, if you're used to that, I'll take the hardness, I'll take what's difficult instead of stepping out and seeing what I can do and what's out there. So I was more comfortable with what was difficult and what was harder for me until I got kicked out. And I said, okay, now I have to do it. And I discovered Mm -hmm. a company that changed my life. It's called Art Storefronts. And they're a marketing company for artists and photographers, and they teach you how to market. They developed my website, got it all together. They showed me how, and on my website, people could click on for the, the artwork, but not just originals and prints. And I think the concept, I think the past 10 years, art has changed a lot business-wise because I know older artists than me that would say, you want to do your originals and you want to do your prints. And if you do anything less than that, it's like schlotzy. It's not, you want to do tote bags or calendars or T-shirts and things. But I learned from our storefronts that there are three markets. There is that upper higher end that will buy those expensive originals Mm -hmm. and people that have larger apartments with larger walls. And then there's a medium market that might not buy a $10,000 or $8,000 piece but they'll buy something for $400, $500, or they'll buy buy a print. A lot of those upper-end people don't want a print. They want the original. They want that. Yes. Fine. But other people that can afford that will buy a print, and they have options for a 9 by 12 or something a lot larger. Or if it's a lower end, they'll buy, which what I do is I'll make small pieces that are about this size, and I'll charge okay. ninety dollars for it. Ninety dollars, and people will buy the ninety dollars. So, what if you get a whole bunch of people buying that? And right. the thing I love about the prints is you sell an original. The original that's great. It's gone. That's it. But if you have prints, it's for the rest of your life. People can right. keep buying it. Or What some of my friends have gotten into is business people have seen their work and their prints, and they decided, you know what, this would look great for an installation in our office. And they'll buy a whole collection of these prints. And on our site, people can order the frames. They can order the matting. It's all there. And my friend Jim, he he makes $10,000, $15,000. But again, it took him time. And that's something that I learned. I've been doing this now four years. And they trained us at all storefronts. Do not expect this to hit off the first year or the second year even. If you're lucky, it might. But it's going to take you doing the consistency. And they provided a playbook. So every day they showed us, this is what you do a reel. Okay. And I learned now reels are the biggest thing. You can get 100, 200, 400 views. Meanwhile, with the algorithms on Facebook and Instagram, if you just do a post, it might 
you might have a thousand followers or fifteen hundred people, and they'll show up to twenty three people. Right. <laughs> That's right. The reality. But the reels will they'll go on to a lot of people. So I learned, okay, I got to do a reel, so I got to go live. And I just sat down and I said, I'm going to do it. And I wrote a little script. And then as I got comfortable and just being myself and expressing myself, I just talk like I'm talking to you here. And well, that, yeah, one of the greatest things that happened was in the group, I met two friends. I met a lady from Austin, Texas, who was a wonderful watercolor artist. And she used to be a graphic design director. And I met this other guy that's in Manhattan this older guy and Ben and I hooked up and he was a photographer, but he also was with art store fronts. So we took the playbook and the three of us would collaborate and say, okay, what do you see here? What can we do here? How can we make this more personal to my niche? And that changed everything with being able to connect with other people. And I think that's an important thing as an artist. Do not be afraid and think, oh, my God, if I connect with this person, they're going to knock me off. They're my competition. We connected, and I just grew so much faster learning about the business and learning about my people and my niche and what I needed to do. So it was exciting. I became really excited and passionate about selling my art and just posting every day. The Facebook business page, the personal business page, the Instagram, the Truth Social that we're on. And then I connected with two uh, Facebook community groups that are specifically in Manhattan. And I do a lot of Manhattan artwork. So I started posting my artwork on these sites and doing them with just the, the artwork or showing it staged. That's the other thing I learned. 